today's lesson we are going to look at physics practice questions lesson 101 the topic for today will be based on work let us start a block of mass 2.50 kg is pushed 2.20 meter along a frictionless horizontal table by a constant a 16.0 newton force directed 25.0 degrees below the horizontal determine the work done on the block by the first question the applied force and then you can see the mark allocation is 3 marks now in this question we need to draw a picture form of this scenario so this is our block this is our surface now they see the block was pushed up to this point and then the displacement is 2.20 meters and then the constant force is this direction and then drawing our reference line we have something here and then the angle between the reference line and the applied force is 25.0 degrees then we're also given the mass which is 2.50 kg and then the magnitude of that force is 16.0 newtons this is the picture form and then we can start by drawing the free body diagram just to make sure how many forces are acting on the block since there's a weight frictionless so it simply means that we don't have friction in this case so we actually have three forces which is the normal force this direction uh, fg this direction and then we have force applied this direction so for the first question we are looking for the work done by this force we have two options let us start with option one the first option remember that we can find the component of this force as you can see the component of the force it's not parallel to the displacement the displacement of this object is this direction you can see that the angle between the applied force and the displacement it's not zero so we can try by finding the component of this force which will be the x component and then we're going to use it for the equation of work which is described by work is equals to the force change in displacement cos theta the first so the first option we are going to use the component we start by calculating the component of this force so we know that fx is equals to f cos theta fx is equals to 16.0 cos the angle is 25.0 we get that our component is equals to 14.501 newtons now let us try to explain this 14.50 newtons what we actually did since the force is this direction we translated this force such that it becomes parallel to the displacement so it means our new force it's actually this direction and then we no longer have 16.0 newtons it's 14.5 five zero one so the initial force was this direction what we did we simply translated it to be this direction then looking at the new picture form of this scenario we can see we have something like this and then 14.501 the displacement we are given as 2.20 meters so in this case you can calculate the work done by the force applied 
this is actually the force applied but we took its component now work done by the force applied it's equals to fx of the force applied change in x cos theta so work done by the force applied it's equals to fx it's 14.501 and then our displacement is 2.20 and then cos remember if this is our displacement moving this direction and then force is also this direction it means the angle between the two is zero so we are going to put a zero degrees here there is lesson 101 of work done i will simply put it in the description so that you can check the basics on how to use this equation and some of the concept that you need to know our work done it's 31.902 joules so this is the first question this is the possible answer of the first question the work done by the force of 902 let us look at the next question the next question says the normal force exerted by the table so we are actually here looking at the free body diagram we have something like this uh, it's force applied So for this question, we're looking for the work done by this force. Remember, looking at the picture form again, normal force is the force which is applied by the surface onto the object. So this is our normal force and then this is our displacement is moving this direction. Now you can see that the, the, the angle between the normal force and the displacement it's actually 90 degrees so we can use our equation work done by normal force it's equals to the normal force change in displacement cos theta work done by normal force it's equals to remember that normal force it's equals to mg in this case so we can see mg change in x cos theta and then work done by normal force it's equals to the mass is 2.50 and then our gravitational acceleration is 9.8 displacement is 2.20 cos the angle is 90 degrees now since the angle is 90 degrees we know that cos 90 is equals to 0 so we are going to have work done by normal force it's equals to 2.50 9.8 uh, 2.20 and then we have 0 here so 0 multiplied by everything here then it becomes 0 so work done by the normal force it's 0 joules let's quickly look at the next question the work done by the gravitational force we are here so going back to the free body diagram again we are looking for the work done by fg now looking at the picture form when you focus on fg fg is this direction now the displacement is this direction we can see that moving to the negative direction we have 90 degrees moving to the positive direction we have 270 degrees so it means when we calculate the work done by fg it will be fg multiplied by uh, the displacement cos theta we know that fg is equals to mg then we can 
substitute fg is equals to mg change in displacement cos theta from here work done by fg is equals to the mass it's 2.50 9.8 the displacement is 2.20 cos 270 degrees. Nine point eight, two point two zero. Now cos two seventy is equals to zero. Now you can see that work done by gravitational force is also zero joules. Looking at the basics and the skills of explaining all the forces or components of the forces which are perpendicular to the displacement of the object will do zero joules. We don't say they don't do any work, but they do zero joules. There's no work done by those forces, only the forces which are parallel to the displacement. The last question says determine the total work done on the object. So in this case we look at all the forces. Work done by force applied it's 31.902 joules. Work done by FG it's across to 0 joules. Work done by normal force it's 0 joules. So we are going to take the sum of them all. So work done by the total it's equals to this plus this plus this which will be 31.902 plus 0 plus 0 which is equals to 31.902 joules. So this is the answer to the final question. Now before we end this lesson video, remember I said for the first question we have two options. Since I wrote option 1, let us quickly do option 2. So option 2, we are just going to substitute the way it is. So the force is like this and then the direction is 25 if I'm not mistaken. Yes, 25.0 degrees. And then we have 16.0 newtons. So since we can see that the displacement of the object is this direction, and that the angle between the displacement and the force is 25.0 degrees, then we can directly substitute without finding the component first. So the force applied change in x cos theta. Work done by the force applied, 16.0, uh, displacement is 2.20, and then we have cos, the angle is 25. Then you can see that the answers are the same, 902 joules. Remember this lesson video, it's not basically a memorandum, but it will assist you in terms of verifying your answers and whether you understood the concept. That's it for this lesson video. This is Wahula SJ. Thank you very much.